Well, in chart bursters, we're going to take a look at prospects for TCS. Now, TCS, as all of us know, has been, uh, you know, one of the best stocks, the largest uh, weighted stock on the index, etc. It's bullish credentials, no, no bound. But what we are seeing on the long-term charts is some bearish signals have emerged. And that's a bit of a surprise. When you're talking about TCS, the results were under par uh, when, we, when they came out last week. But then when it, when it comes to TCS, we are not talking about yesterday, today, tomorrow. We are talking about the longer term. And what we see on the long-term charts is, all that, is also that momentum indicators are showing signs of, signs of divergence and signs of price breaks. Now, this is not a good development at all. And typically, when such signals appear on long-term charts, what you see on a heavily owned stock is uh, switch trades, which can happen. And these switch trades can pose a bit of a problem for the price of TCS because this is a stock which uh, is there in each and everybody's portfolio, particularly all the institutions. And the kind of uh, signals that we saw on the chart, we see on the chart, you can take a look at here. This is a long-term chart from about 2005 till now. Now, TCS has had a great run, but what we are seeing at the top now is actually a trend break. The moving average, which has been tracking this for a very long period of time, that has a very decisive break. Now, this is a long-term monthly chart, so the price action may not look like something large, but uh, let me tell you that it is, because when you see that portion on a smaller time frame chart, it, it is quite big. Not only the price break, you can see on the lower panel, you have the MACD and the RSI, and both of these are also showing breaks. Now, typically, when you have a big price run and the MACD cuts its trigger line, that's always some uh, kind of cautionary signal going up. And if you look at the RSI, you've got a clear divergence, and after the divergence, there is a break. Now, all these signals point to some sort of weakness which is likely to emerge as far as TCS is concerned. Now, we talked about switch sales. Now, where can it go? One of the uh, ideal stocks where it could go into is Infosys. Now, this is, uh, this is a comparative chart of TCS with Infosys. The line in green is TCS, the line in orange is INFI. And we can see that INFI has started outperforming TCS in recent times.